The students in Aurora head back to class today, but not at school. The district has one of the most conservative restart plans in the state, relying on remote learning until at least October. Denver 7's Nicole Brady shows us how the district plans to give students the full experience in a virtual format. And these buildings aren't completely empty. You can see some staff members are here and some teachers are going to be teaching out of their classrooms, but their students will all be watching from home. A shout out to Denzel this morning who sent us this picture. He's getting ready to start fourth grade at Global Village Academy. Love that smile and he definitely has the right attitude today. Got to be positive. The Aurora superintendent tells us remote learning will be different than it was back in the spring, more intentional and rigorous. Mondays through Thursdays, students Students will be learning both synchronously and asynchronously. Then on Fridays, they'll be working independently so that teachers can use that time for training, planning and data analysis. The district has also been working with teachers in electives like art and music and PE to make sure those can still be delivered virtually this year. I spoke to a teacher at Aurora Global Village Academy who says starting the year this way isn't ideal, but he says we have to go into this with optimism. It's all about attitude and I just think if we come in every day, just growth mindset, knowing that nothing's going to be perfect, we just got to work through it as we get it, kind of be in the moment, do what we can and, you know, fail quickly so we can make sure we can learn from stuff, then we're going to be fine. The superintendent says he's still hopeful that kids will be able to come back to these buildings sometime in October, but that's going to depend on the virus. And at tonight's school board meeting, they'll be discussing some of the metrics that could help them determine when it's safe to return to schools. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.